Today is Martin Luther King Day. Join us to learn all about MLK. Kababayan Today stands in solidarity with hashtag Black Lives Matter. Magandang hapon po. Jitanji, it's Martin Luther King Day. Joining us for a panel discussion are the following. Kasama natin si Attorney Teresa Kalimag, who is a Filipino-American immigrant who advocates in the family law and immigration practice areas at the law offices of Domingo and Domingo. Her experiences in nonprofit organizations and as an equal justice program while in law school and with various nonprofit organizations also speak of her strong focus in equal justice and treatment for those in need but unable to access legal services services. Kasama natin, a regular also on our show, si Professor Brandon Riley, who is a lecturer at Santa Monica College and Cal State San Marcos, where he teaches courses on Asian world and American history. At kasama natin, ang artist, si Mariela Angelia, Angela Katindig. She currently attends Cal State Dominguez Hills and is an artist whose primary focus are African American portraitures. Welcome to the show, everybody. Thanks for having us. All right, let's uh, watch this before we start going at it. Panawirin natin to. He said he had a dream, and his voice echoed across the National Mall on a chilly March day in Washington, D.C. in 1963. Not only was his message heard that day by thousands there, but also speaks to the consciousness of America today. Because I have a dream. That my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Born in 1929 in Atlanta, Martin Luther King became one of the world's heroes, fighting for the rights of people of color, for equality and liberty of all. He was a Baptist minister, activist, humanitarian, and one of the key leaders of the African-American civil rights movement during the volatile era of the 1960s. He led the march of the Montgomery bus boycott, fighting for the end of racial segregation, and in his famous speech on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, I have a dream, he had made himself one of the world's most respected orators. He also received a Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, further lining his illustrious laurels but all ended on a cold day in March as well, in 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee, when MLK was gunned down at a motel balcony lobby. I want to say thank you to our producer, Albert Bataclan, who produced that package for us. Okay, alamin natin, who is MLK? Joining us for our panel discussion. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, happy Martin Luther King Day to all of you. Happy Martin Luther King Day. All right, let's get to it. Who is MLK? Professor, sino ba siya? So as the uh, intro that you put together um, demonstrated, he is he's best known as a Baptist minister. Um, the major figure in the American Civil Rights Movement in the 1950s and 60s, he became famous with the Montgomery bus boycott in the 19, uh, 1955. He's best known for his I Have a Dream speech, which you just showed excerpts of. Um, and he was also a critic of the Vietnam War. He was assassinated in 1968, unfortunately. And we think of him as uh, kind of the figurehead of the Civil Rights Movement, although he wasn't alone, obviously. Um, the recent movie Selma shows to what extent it was very much a popular movement movement, a social movement. Um, we often think of people like George Washington and Abraham Lincoln as being kind of the greatest Americans. I think there is a great uh, uh, way to think about uh, Martin Luther King Jr. is in many ways the greatest American. He made, uh, made it such that uh, Americans now have equal rights uh, all across the board, which was not true uh, for our parents and grandparents in America. And it's because of him now that we all have equal rights. Yes, but really not in Hollywood because as you can see in the Oops. Oscar nominations, let's get, right. well, I mean, don't get me started on that, okay? <laughs> That's another discussion altogether. Attorney, let's talk about this. When you migrated here from the Philippines at a very young age, you, uh, Tell us about the story sure. with, with uh, MLK. There was a program in school um, about MLK, and I was in the seventh grade. I came when I was in sixth grade, mm -hmm. and I won the MLK award, and I remember the surprised faces at the auditorium because, first of all, I wasn't black, but I won, and I, I actually read up on Martin Luther King. Every day they had a question in, uh, on the, um, what do you call those? Uh, 
Yes, and then and then I would answer it, and then I would research. And what really, for me, he's one of my um, inspirations why I became an attorney. Um, I've experienced discrimination just because of the color of my skin, not necessarily my race, even in the Philippines. My mom's lighter, she looks more Spanish, and I did it. And I, already at a young age, society told me I'm going to be treated differently. And when I, when I read about MLK and what he stood for, that it doesn't matter what color you are, it's the character mm, that matters, that right. really stuck to me. Yeah. And I think that's when I'm like, I think I can be an ally to the, to the African American community because I understood that discrimination. I yes. felt it myself. There was a personal connection. Yeah. That I felt. Yes, well, let's let's put it bluntly. Tayo mga Pilipino, we are racist against our own, right? <laughs> but uh, Mariela, I want to understand, I've had you on the show before, you are Filipina, but when you create your art, it's mostly the African American community that you depict. Why? It's because it's what I grew up with. I mean, I'm from a different generation. It, it's so normal for me. We're a giant mixing pot, so in this time, I think, as a Filipino-American, we owe it to the black community to be allies. You know, they all these black activists, because of them, we're living here comfortably. We don't have to worry about the um, consequences of being non-white, but we're also benefiting from being non-black. Ah, oh, interesting. So. Very interesting. I'm so glad we were able to get this panel together last minute, <laughs> diba? Very Filipino in that aspect. We're here. This panel is talking to you about why we need to know who Martin Luther King is, his life, and the significance that um, he brings to the Filipino community. We'll be right back here on Kababayan Today. Join us.